it reminded me from stuff that I heard about the California gold rush. Uh huh. And I went back, did a bit of digging, pun intended. Um, oh, gold rush! I got it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you for acknowledging. Welcome to episode nine of the Denim Heads podcast. I'm Pasha, and I'm Darius. A lot of uh, get rich stories uh, out in the past week or two. How so? Well, you had like a couple weeks ago. They had the Powerball and the the, the Mega Millions. Right. Uh, Mega Millions, I think, came out to like a we had a billion dollar lottery. One billion. Yeah, crazy money. Crazy. And then, money. Uh, <laughs> then we had like uh, a lot of people doing well with Bitcoin. Of course, this past week it was uh, all about GameStop uh, and how. Some short sellers were trying to sell the stock uh, short, and then a band of people on Wall Street bets on Reddit uh, okay. sort of got together yeah. and and fought Wall Street, and uh, you know the uh, the little guy won. Yeah, uh, and he's been doing well this week. That reminds me of this uh, a gold rush story. The uh, the 1848 thing, the yeah, California exactly. gold rush. Exactly. Yeah, it's like the guy finds like a nugget in his field, a gold nugget. Exactly. But you know, the, the interesting thing was that uh, it's not necessarily the guys who were doing the digging that uh, got rich. You had yeah. this guy, there was a Mormon from New York and he he took a boat to uh, to California and he got rich super quickly by just selling supplies, actually like, you know, picks, shovels, wheelbarrows and stuff like this. And that's how he got super rich. And, you know, actually, even if I go further than that, uh, our our friend uh, Levi Strauss. That's also uh, how this whole story started. He was in New York. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, something like that. You're right. He was he was selling textiles with his brothers in New York, and when he heard about gold in California, he went there and found this other guy who had a great idea about using rivets to make the pockets of the pants stronger, and he collaborated with him. And they started producing those pens with stronger pockets, with rivets, and you know the the rest is history, basically. Yeah, you're right. Actually, that's that's totally true. Yeah. Uh, how all these dots sort of connect. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, very interesting. And I recommend you know everybody should go and check those stories in their full versions because they're really yeah. really interesting. Yeah, it sounds like it. It sounds like yeah. it. That's true. And then I understand. Uh, you got something from the Dutch Denim Project newsletter? Exactly. I subscribed to the, the DDP newsletter very early on, and uh, we received the first one in which they're showing a little video. You know, uh, you can see some very nice uh, chain stitching, uh, a union machine. And basically, what are we learning with this? Um, we're learning that uh, the fabric is coming from Japan. I think that's not a big surprise, but still, it's nice to, to to have that confirmed. There will be two fits, so that's interesting. Probably some tapered uh, or some relaxed tapered and something a little bit narrower, I hope. Uh, we also learned that it's going to be a first limited run. That's going to be 200 pieces. Mm. Uh, and... Uh, something else we uh, learned that it, it is designed in Netherlands, obviously, but it will be produced in Portugal. So, okay. still looking forward uh, very much to to that whole Dutch denim project. Yeah, that was an interesting story. I was thinking, you know, uh, on what to sort of talk about this this week, and I figured we, where we left off prior to uh, our episode with Mike, we were talking about. I just received the PBJ. Greencast denim, and yes. I was like, I wanted to wear them a little bit more, and maybe even do a little uh, talk about the company a little bit. And uh, briefly, so far, I've, I've gotten the chance to wear the the PBJ Greencast, yep. and they're they're really good. And it was nice to have a pair that is a lot lighter uh, in terms of the shade. Uh, my staff had commented on it quite a bit, and so oh, I was really? like, wow, this is outside of your usual color palette. And I'm like, yeah. I know it was something different. Uh, is it as green as I had expected, or like you know, seeing the warp yeah. being green? No, uh, I didn't uh, notice it as much. But okay. I mean, I've only gotten to wear it, wear it about three times so far. Um, so it, they've been good. Okay. So then I was looking into the company. I wanted to do it because that is probably my favorite uh, brand. Yes, I think so. Uh, I've almost anything I've had from them has been solid. So yeah. Uh, briefly was reading about, uh, 
you know, it was it was founded in 1997, and it is probably known to be the slubbiest and most different innovative way of doing. Th- Absolutely, yeah. 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 You, for the listeners, don't see Darish kind of. I'm I'm not kicking back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't see. So then I I ended up picking up finally the uh, opening, uh, the book you got me for Christmas. It was uh, called Blue Blooded. Uh, yep. How did you come across this book? Actually, do you remember? Do you have this book? How oh, uh, I read about it somewhere. No, I don't have it. I don't have it. First of all, oh, you don't? No, no. Oh, uh, it's it's highly recommended. I was just yes. so I was like, all right, let me let me look into this. Maybe there's going to be something in there about PBJ, just to kind of wet the palate a little bit. Exactly. But I just got lost in the book, and it was so interesting. Oh, cool. Um, uh, you know, it made me realize I have an above average knowledge uh a more than average let's say yep. uh knowledge of denim among average people oh, well, but i have you know. a sub below average like a really below average knowledge um as compared to the average denim head so it was just like wow i really need to know a lot more and so that's when i realized okay you know it's it's okay yeah uh, i don't brand myself to be a, a denim but rather a denim head but rather just a new in this field yes, type of a thing so beginner denim, like, right. denim head definitely definitely but i was looking into it they they it is a you can find it on amazon i think it's like 40 bucks yep. it's a great book uh it it talks about a lot of things it great for one thing it has a glossary it talks about where to purchase denim uh in everywhere around the world i think it has just like it talks about the history, the different types. Yep. It it highlights dozens of brands. And I'm thumbing through it and I'm like, there's what's great about the book is the fact that it it's uh it tells the story behind a lot of these brands and how they came together and sort of how their their passion yep. uh led them to where they're at. And it, it's just in one place. You don't have to jump around. Exactly. Uh and you could really get lost in it. I was thumbing through it, I was looking and I actually uh, got to a page about like tender, uh, T E N, uh, D E R out in uh, in the okay. UK, and I'm reading and it's like all oh, company founder, uh, uh, William Kroll, and I'm like okay, and I'm like wait a second, I sent an email to the to the company through their inquiry okay. page, uh, inquiry link on their yeah. website, and I was like I think the guy who responded was William. Oh no way! Uh, okay. Yeah, that's why I was like shocked yeah. for a second. I was like uh, you know. Three months that that was in the, in October, uh, and I in terms of the inquiry was just basically I had purchased some really cool sunglasses over the summer oh, I remember. from them. The green ones, yeah, the yeah. green ones. And uh, how I became uh, introduced was Redcast I had them and right, they were sold right, out right. of those uh, sunglasses. So I said, let me go straight to the source. I looked up the page, uh, the the company, and then I came across uh, their sweaters and other glasses. Uh, I purchased those, uh, shipped over from 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 the UK, and then I ended up going right back onto the website because it was so not such nice pack such nice packaging, yes. um, and with care and and it was just I I remember I was like wow this is really cool and if if this is how much he cares about the uh, the company cares about the, and packaging their sunglasses I yeah it sort of got me curious about of their course. brand even more so I went onto their to their website and I purchased a bunch of sweaters and they're all great okay. but the issue was I got hit with like duty oh, I duties. remember now uh, yes like yeah yeah I had to pay because of uh, some tariffs that we have here stateside I got hit with like a 25% Oof. tariff which yeah I mean it, so I, I emailed them and I was like what's the difference I mean I didn't have to pay any any. it was international mm-hmm. uh, free international shipping from the UK to New York but the thing was, uh, I didn't have to pay tariffs, but the second time around, I did. Um, and uh, so I sent an email out, and I was like, uh, is this mm-hmm. accurate? You know, What's the cutoff and this and that? And yeah, the company was very, very... Uh, yeah, w- William was extremely uh, quick and, and, and nice. courteous in his response, and it was good. Funny enough, uh, this just this past week on the Sons of Selvage podcast, the little clip that you sent yep. me... Uh, episode, their episode seven, they talked about how the tariffs are actually at around a thousand dollars. Yes, uh, depending um, on where you buy from, where you are, and you know all these different factors. But yes, that's that's correct. 
So maybe I'll try to to purchase some sweaters. They have yeah. great, you know, tenders. It's a nice brand. It's really cool okay. stuff. Oh yeah, totally. They're they're denim. Everything's made mm-hmm. in house. Um, you know, start to finish, they're they're nice. they're up there, and so. I think it's actually made by the guy. I could be wrong, but uh, the denim hunter, de- uh, denim hunters. Yeah, I mean, it talks about the whole process, start to uh, everywhere. Uh, you know, in the the dying process, it gives you in them the, an in depth knowledge of the dying okay. process. Uh, everything. It it's just uh, it's like the encyclopedia. Cool. Okay. It's and the, and the quality of the pictures are great. Highly recommended. I mean. Uh, because of you know we were have, having to have to record this week, I wanted to read mm-hmm. up on something, and then I grabbed it and I just noticed how lost I got in the book. You know, it was about an hour or two. I was just sitting in there. And... Did you discover some brands that you really had no idea were there? Uh, yeah. Or were you aware of all those somehow? No, definitely was not aware of of. Okay. A majority of the brands. I mean, I let me let me rephrase that. I'd seen their yeah. names uh, when looking at online retailers, but uh, I never bothered to okay to click, frankly, on them. I usually become introduced to a brand more more so by their newer releases if they have something new, because that's the first page I look at uh, when I get on these online retailers. I I look at what's newly okay. released and sort of get an idea and having done this now for about a year um you know i'm yeah. more familiar with a lot of new okay. releases so over maybe next time we'll talk a little bit more about pbj or we can focus on another brand when you if you see something interesting in the book yeah i know pbj wasn't in the book okay. i actually looked uh but they had so many other ones that i it, it didn't really matter i, I again indigo Ferrer was yeah. in there and uh they talk about the Osaka Five. Actually, there's a few, many pages on the Osaka Five, and uh, I neglect to, we neglect to talk about what's called the Big Three here: Levi's, yes. Lee's, and yes. uh, Wrangler, uh, which you know predates the the Osaka Five. Oh yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of and course. you know, it's it's like sort of talking about forgetting about the elephant in the room. Yes, uh, that's you know the big. Maybe the, you you'll prepare a. A full-on presentation. A book report, the, yeah. Yeah, a book report. Absolutely. <laughs> nice. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll just talk about it for a couple minutes next time, and that'll be that'll be enough too. Oh well, yeah. But the but, book, uh, I'll, I'll put I'll put a link on the book in the show notes, uh, definitely, because that's something that's super interesting. Maybe and pick it up book. yourself. You, yeah, you'd be surprised. I need it. You're right. You're right. Uh, it's it's a great coffee table book. Yes. Especially for pod people who uh, record podcasts on denim, uh, and yes. When you have these conversations, it would make sense to have it, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's <just> like oh, <laughs> denim. Yes, I record a podcast uh, on on denim. I don't know much about denim, but I record but, a podcast you know, about I'm recording it. Recording a podcast. You're right. You're right. I'll make an effort. Um, Did you reach out to Coddle this week, or have you so heard I did back send from an them? Email. I haven't gotten anything back. Uh, uh-huh. But we'll probably get something back very, very soon. I that's have, what we're leaning towards for the project. Yes, right? that's what we're leaning towards for the project. I have asked a bunch of questions because uh, I wanted to know if they could make some, you know, arrange for us some some small details, a few things I would like to change on the on the pair of denim that we're looking at. So mm-hmm. I won't go uh, too far in the details because nothing's confirmed yet. So. I'll keep it for when when stuff are are starting to to look very serious. But yes, I've reached out to them, and I'm pretty sure they will they will get back to me very quickly. There's some cracks in your uh, in your foundation, man. You you want to go coddle, but then you keep getting sidetracked to going with PBJ, Momotaro, yes. Oni Denim, Tanuki. I mean, uh, yes. you're even considering maybe Naked and Famous at this point. It's just nudie. like I, nudie. Uh, yeah, we My talked bad. about nudie. Um, I'm weak. That's the only. That's that's my issue. Like uh, you know, I I look at what's happening online and I see stuff and I get side uh, sidetracked. That's how you say it. You know, yeah. I get sidetracked. Yep. But no, um, you know, hopefully you're there and you you let me know that no, you know, we we decided we're going with Cuddle and you know, unless I win the lottery or something, I'm not gonna buy something else for now. But yes, I am. 
I do look at a bunch of stuff. And the problem is I send all this stuff to you. So you can, uh, you're a witness to my whereabouts. So that's the, that's the problem. I shouldn't send That's how I to... learn. Yes, That's how exactly. I learn about all this stuff. So. Exactly. Maybe something else that I've seen this week that was pretty interesting, pretty funny. Are you familiar with Karl Murawski? Murawski. No. No? No. No. Carl is a YouTuber. He's doing reviews, uh, boots, workwear, and different stuff like that. He has a very nice uh, YouTube channel. He's helping people to buy less, but buy better, basically. Mm. Um, two weeks ago, uh, two or three weeks ago, he uploaded a video about buying your first pair of raw denim. I suggest everybody uh, uh, go and, and watch that video. It's pretty funny. Uh, he plays both roles, basically. He's the guy who sells raw denim and he's the guy who's looking to buy the first pair, okay? So as the seller, he starts asking all these different questions about, you know, which fabric, what's the weight, the cut. And of course, he drops all this super tricky uh, denim terminology and his other self that's looking to buy gets completely lost, okay? And I thought it was interesting because that felt very uh, familiar, because a lot of new denim heads like us, that's what we went through in the beginning when you have all this terminology, you know, the cuts, is it sanferized, unsanferized, shrink to fit, uh, tapered, relaxed tapered, and, you know, all this stuff. Then there's another YouTuber that we talked about, Matt Wilson from the channel CRD. Yes, uh, I was actually, I came across CRD this week, I forgot. Yeah. I think it was about the book, if I'm not mistaken. He has a very good uh, video about another denim book, yes. That's that, right. That's an yeah, older yeah, yeah. video. Okay. What he did, he did something very interesting. He made a reaction video of that first video in which he goes through the different questions and terms and he gives explana explanations for each. So it's super well made. And if you're new to this, or even if you're not, you know, it's, uh, it's nice. I recommend watching it because it's a good reminder on all those terms and... Explanations are well made, as usual with him. Uh, so it 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 was interesting. It was interesting to go back with those, you know, all this special vocabulary that sometimes even me, I got to be very honest, I'm not on point with all these different terms. So I just thought it was an interesting. Both of these videos were very entertaining. I'll put. You're gonna put the links. Yes, in the, uh, I'll show put notes, the, right? the links Both? in the show notes. Definitely. Good. Yeah, I'll check yeah. it out too. I'll definitely do that. Yes. Cool. Uh, something else that I've been meaning to talk about in here, and maybe this won't be of any interest to some of you guys, uh, but if there are any listeners still wondering, you know, hesitating on whether or not they should start their own podcast. Actually, I'm not here to tell you go ahead and do it or not, um, but you should definitely do it. But I just want to put this out there. There's um, so much content out there about podcasting um, between YouTubers quote-unquote, teaching you how to start your own podcast for free and reaching a million downloads after a week, you know, or, you know, other classes and whatnot. I feel like, um, and this is this is not a paid ad, but I feel like we've been really um, lucky with Buzzsprout. So Buzzsprout is the uh, podcast hosting company uh, which we chose uh, to start uh, the Denim Heads podcast. I mean, with the amount of content that they put out on their YouTube channel, and their own podcasts, you know, in order to help people who are uh, starting a podcast or the people are just gathering information. And as I said, you know, wondering if they should, they should start or not. It's, you know, it's really, uh, how can I say this? It's a gold mine. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, second pun there. Uh, no, but uh, seriously, like if you're listening to this, uh, it means you do listen to podcasts. We can't, you know, we can't possibly be the only one you're listening to. Um, if that's the case, you're missing out on a lot of good stuff. Uh, so if you're a tiny bit curious about podcasting, this is my own little advice. Um, don't get lost with a million channels and unrealistic goals. Like you can focus on two or three channels and podcasts like the ones from Buzzsprout. Um, and maybe also Tumbuck, which I've already recommended here. And then you'll be set. Yeah. Well, next week's going to be a big one. That'll be our 10th our episode. Yes. Uh, we will officially become one of, uh, out of 1.8 million uh, podcasts, we will become one of the 
600,000, uh, one in three. We all survived the first exactly. uh, stage. Uh, and we'll, we'll see. We'll move on to a exactly. quote-unquote more serious uh, uh, territory of podcasting. So that's good stuff. Yes. Hopefully, it'll be fun starting Looking next forward. week. Yes. Our 10th episode. All right. Cool. Well, on that note, we'll, uh, we'll wish everyone a good week. Uh, yes. And until next time, I will be a vaccinated uh, oh, that's right. uh, version. I will have my second dose by then. Okay. So we'll see. Perfect. And guys, don't forget, you can always uh, reach us at the denimheads at gmail.com or on Instagram. That's obviously underscore blue. That's your, obviously blue is your, your, uh, my IG handle. Handle. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we're on YouTube. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Good stuff. YouTube. Yes. Except episode four. Episode four was a little long. We're still learning. Exactly. Uh, it's a sound bite. Catch that on any other platform. That's right. That's right. All right. Until next time, guys. Take care. Take care, guys. Bye bye.